What if an airport could reshape an entire city? Western Sydney International Airport isn't just another infrastructure project. It's Australia's largest earth-moving operation, with over 26 million cubic metres of soil shifted to make way for a brand new aviation hub. That's enough dirt to fill 10,000 Olympic swimming pools. But this isn't only about sheer size. A 3.7 kilometre runway, 24-7 operations and state-of-the-art technology will make this airport a game-changer. Unlike Sydney's Kingsford Smith Airport, plagued by flight caps and curfews, this one will never sleep. With an expected 80 million passengers annually by 2060, it could rival the world's busiest airports. So why did it take decades of debate to get here? And how is this mega project overcoming enormous challenges to redefine Australia's aviation future? Sydney is one of the busiest cities in the Southern Hemisphere, a thriving global hub that welcomes millions of tourists, business travellers and cargo shipments each year. But behind the bustling air traffic lies a growing bottleneck. Its main airport, Kingsford Smith SYD, is bursting at the seams. Kingsford Smith opened in 1919, making it one of the oldest airports in the world still in use today. In the past, its location, just eight kilometers from Sydney's city center, was a big advantage, but now it's a major issue. The airport is surrounded by busy neighborhoods on three sides and Botany Bay on the fourth, leaving no room to grow. Expanding into the bay would be too expensive and bad for the environment, and tearing down homes isn't an option. By the early 2000s, the problem became impossible to ignore. More than 40 million passengers used the airport each year, and with strict flight limits and a curfew from 11pm to 6am, it was already at full capacity. At the same time, Sydney's western suburbs were growing fast, but millions of people there had no airport nearby. That meant long, frustrating trips to the city's east just to catch a flight. The search for a second airport location actually started back in the 1960s, but for years, nothing happened. There were endless debates and short-term fixes, like adding a third runway in 1994. But by 2012, the government finally made a decision. After a detailed study, they confirmed that Badgeries Creek, 44 kilometers west of Sydney's center, was the best spot due to its open space, minimal residential impact, and access to major infrastructure corridors. In 2014, the Australian government officially committed to the project, and by 2018, construction was underway. Named after aviation legend Nancy Bird Walton, this airport was designed to be modern, efficient and future-proof. But how do you turn an undeveloped landscape into a world-class aviation hub? Before a single terminal could rise, engineers had to take on a challenge of staggering proportions preparing the land itself. And this was the largest earthworks project in Australian history. The scale is mind-blowing. Over 26 million cubic meters of earth had to be moved, enough to fill 10,000 Olympic swimming pools. But how do you shift that much material? The answer, an army of more than 250 heavy machines, bulldozers, excavators, and dump trucks operating around the clock. At peak operation, they moved over a million cubic meters of soil every month, leveling rugged terrain, cutting down high points, and filling in lower areas to create a stable foundation for the airport's runways, taxiways, and terminals. And then came the challenge of reinforcement. With millions of tons of soil being relocated, how do you ensure that the ground beneath remains strong enough to support massive aircraft? The solution was both innovative and sustainable. Instead of letting excavated sandstone from Sydney's tunneling projects go to waste, engineers repurposed a record-breaking 5.5 million tons of it to reinforce the airport's foundation. This not only reduced landfill waste, but also provided a rock-solid base for the runways, taxiways and aprons, making the surface resilient enough to support the world's largest aircraft. The airport's earthworks even won an International Environmental Excellence Award in 2022 for its innovative erosion control solutions during Sydney's record-breaking rainfall and flooding. But what's an airport without a world-class runway? 
Stretching 3.7 kilometers, the main runway at Western Sydney International is designed to accommodate everything from short domestic flights to the largest international jets. Unlike Kingsford Smith Airport, where fog and poor visibility often cause frustrating delays, this new airport is setting a new standard. How? By integrating CAT 3B navigation systems, one of the most advanced landing technologies in the world. Even in near zero visibility, planes will be able to land safely, ensuring 24 7 operations without disruption. Laying the foundation for such a runway wasn't easy. Construction required 120,000 cubic meters of concrete and asphalt, creating a surface built to endure decades of high impact landings and takeoffs. To enhance safety, over 3,000 specialized aeronautical ground lights were installed to guide aircraft during takeoff and landing. But what about the spaces between landings? The surrounding taxiways and aprons play a crucial role in keeping air traffic moving smoothly. To make them tough enough for constant aircraft movement, 4.5 million tons of high-quality crushed sandstone were used to reinforce the ground. This not only adds stability, but also extends the lifespan of these critical surfaces. Efficiency was another key factor. Engineers incorporated rapid exit taxiways, specialized routes that allow planes to clear the runway quickly after landing, minimizing delays and maximizing operational flow. Spanning an impressive 110,000 square meters, the airport's terminal is a masterpiece of modern architecture that fuses technology with the beauty of Australia's natural environment. But what makes this design truly special? It's rooted in cultural significance. Developed in consultation with First Nations communities, the terminal reflects Darug country, paying tribute to the deep heritage of the land it's built on. One of the most striking features is a massive sandstone wall sourced from local quarries, serving as both a design statement and a connection to the region's geology. Meanwhile, floor to ceiling glass windows bathe the space in natural light making the terminal feel open and airy. But look up and you'll see one of the most impressive design choices, an aluminium ceiling carefully treated to mimic timber. Its wave-like pattern mirrors the rolling curves of the Blue Mountains, bringing a sense of movement and calm to an environment that's often stressful. Unlike the cold, sterile designs of many international airports, this one feels warm, inviting and unmistakably Australian. But design is only half the story. Every detail inside the terminal is built for speed, efficiency, and passenger comfort. Self-service kiosks, biometric facial recognition check-ins, and automated baggage handling systems work together to streamline the entire travel experience. No more long lines, no unnecessary delays, just a seamless journey from check-in to take-off. And this is just the beginning. In its first phase, the airport is set to handle 10 million passengers a year, but thanks to its modular design, expansion will be a breeze. No need for major overhauls or disruptions, just smart, scalable growth. By 2060, this airport is expected to serve over 80 million passengers annually, making it one of the busiest in the world. But how do you build a massive airport without harming the environment? That's the challenge engineers tackled from the start. Sustainability isn't a buzzword at Western Sydney International Airport, it's a core part of the design. Every decision, from materials to drainage, was made with long-term environmental impact in mind. Take the 5.5 million tonnes of excavated sandstone used for construction. Instead of sending this material to landfills, engineers repurposed it from various tunnelling projects across Sydney. This wasn't just a cost-saving move, it was a game-changer. By reusing high-quality sandstone for the airport's runways, taxiways and aprons, they reduced waste and cut down on emissions from transporting new materials. It's smart, efficient and eco-friendly. And that's not the only innovative approach. Instead of relying on traditional underground concrete drainage systems, the airport features an advanced stormwater management system. But what makes it different? Instead of a maze of pipes, the system uses grass-lined channels, retention basins and natural filtration systems. These innovative biofiltration measures allow rainwater to be naturally cleaned before being released into local waterways, 
ensuring minimal disruption to the surrounding ecosystem. During construction, these retention basins also served another purpose, controlling dust levels. Excess water collected in the basins and was strategically reused, reducing the demand for fresh water supplies. These environmental safeguards helped the airport earn international recognition, including an Environmental Excellence Award in 2022 for erosion control, proving that massive infrastructure projects can be built responsibly. A world-class airport needs world-class connectivity, and Western Sydney International is being built with seamless transport integration in mind. The goal is to ensure effortless access for passengers, workers and freight operators, making the airport a central hub for Sydney's growing west. The backbone of this connectivity is the M12 motorway, a brand new toll-free highway that will provide direct access to the airport from Sydney's motorway network. But that's just one piece of the puzzle. The project is part of the larger Western Sydney infrastructure plan, which includes major road upgrades like the widening of Bringelli Road and the Northern Road, ensuring the surrounding road network can handle the region's future growth. And then there's the real game changer, the Sydney Metro Western Sydney Airport Line. This 23-kilometre high-speed rail link will connect the airport to St Mary's and the future Western Sydney Aerotropolis. This dedicated metro line ensures that travellers will have a fast, efficient and reliable way to reach the airport, eliminating the need for long, congested road commutes. With rail, road and express bus connections, Western Sydney International will be the heart of a fully integrated transport network built for the future. Western Sydney International Airport is an economic powerhouse that will change the entire region. The construction alone has created over 4,000 jobs, bringing work to engineers, tradespeople and logistics workers. But that's just the beginning. By 2035, this number is expected to soar to 35,000, with thousands of new jobs in aviation, retail and ground services. So what does this mean for Western Sydney? It means opportunity. The airport is at the heart of the Western Sydney Aerotropolis, a massive business and technology hub designed to attract global industries. Companies in aerospace, defence, advanced manufacturing, healthcare and logistics are all expected to set up shop here. Over time, this high-tech zone could create up to 200,000 jobs, transforming the economy and bringing stability to the region. And it's not just big companies that will benefit. Local businesses will see more customers, trade will increase, and Western Sydney residents will no longer need to travel east for work. Instead, the jobs will come to them. But with all this progress, there are also challenges. Sustainability has been a major focus, but not everyone is happy about the airport's 24-7 curfew-free operations. Unlike Kingsford Smith Airport, which shuts down flights at night to reduce noise, Western Sydney International will run around the clock. What does that mean for the people living nearby? More planes, more noise and more concerns about how it will affect daily life in surrounding suburbs. The airport's proximity to the Blue Mountains National Park has also sparked environmental concerns. Could increased air traffic affect this World Heritage listed region? Critics think so. They worry about its impact on wildlife and the natural landscape. To address these concerns, the government has introduced several measures, flight path planning to reduce disruption, noise insulation grants for affected residents, and green infrastructure initiatives to balance out the environmental effects. This project is also about transforming the future of Western Sydney. For years, this part of the city has lagged behind the eastern suburbs in developments and opportunity. Now, that's starting to change. New programs are opening doors for communities that have long been overlooked. The First Nations Taking Off program is helping Indigenous Australians take part in building the airport. Other initiatives focus on women in STEM, culturally diverse communities and young job seekers, ensuring that Western Sydney's people benefit from this massive investment. As the final stages of construction approach, one thing is clear. Western Sydney International Airport is a gateway to the future positioning Sydney as a global aviation powerhouse. With the first flights expected to take off in late 2026, the countdown has begun. What do you think? Will Western Sydney International Airport reshape Australia's aviation future? 
let us know in the comments. And don't forget to like, subscribe to Ultimate Mega Builds, and turn on notifications.